In today's journey through the world of bread, we're diving into the fascinating tales of two exceptional flatbreads, Obinon from Uzbekistan and Afghanistan's Nanai Afghani. These breads are not just a feast for the taste buds they're a celebration of cultural heritage and culinary artistry. Obinon, originating from Uzbekistan and Afghanistan, is a mesmerizing flatbread that's thicker than naan and baked to perfection in clay ovens known as dan. The variations of this bread are as diverse as its cultural roots. From the Bakara Lepiashka with sesame and nigella seeds to festive versions adorned with butter and cream, each Obinon tells a unique story. The intricate patterns on the bread's surface are crafted using a special mold called Czechish, adding an artistic touch to every bite. Transitioning to Afghan bread, or Nanai Afghani, we uncover the heart and soul of Afghanistan's culinary traditions. Baked in a tandoor, a traditional above-ground oven made of bricks, this flatbread can be oval or rectangular. The process involves shaping the dough, sticking it onto the oven walls, and allowing the magic to unfold. Black cumin or caraway seeds are not just for taste they're a visual delight, sprinkled on the bread for decoration. The result is a bread that shares similarities with pita or Lebanese bread but boasts its own unique Afghan identity. For those eager to embark on a culinary adventure, let's dive into the ingredients and steps to create Afghan bread in your home kitchen. The list includes all-purpose flour, salt, instant yeast, water, butter, and nigella seeds for that final touch of perfection. The process involves combining the ingredients, letting the dough rest and rise, and finally, baking it to golden perfection. Afghan bread's significance goes beyond its delicious taste. It's a staple served with almost every meal, acting as both a utensil and a companion to Afghan culinary experiences. The traditional method of baking, with the dough spread around the tandoor, captures the essence of Afghan mornings, drawing crowds with the aroma of fresh bread. As we explore the art of bread making, we journey to the bustling streets of Kabul, where the small bakery of 64-year-old Asadola stands as a testament to the enduring love for naan. Naan isn't just food it's a social ritual in Afghan life. From special nans for weddings to those welcoming someone back from Hajj, this bread plays a role in major life events. Even during times of strife, bringing naan can symbolize a gesture of peace. Transitioning to Uzbekistan, we encounter the symbolic bread of Samarkand. Uzbek loaves, with their distinctive decorative patterns and varied tastes, hold a revered place in the culture. Traditions dictate respect for bread, from how it's laid down to how it's eaten. Carrying a loaf on the head was a national tradition, signifying deep respect and reverence. The story unfolds further with the Karsanif family, specialists in making heavy and nourishing Samarkand breads. The medium-sized loaves with sesame seeds, baked in special tandoors, speak to a legacy that began with Aslid in Karsanif's grandfather. The family's working day begins at 3 a.m., a testament to the dedication required in the male-dominated profession of breadmaking. As we delve into legends surrounding Samarkand bread, tales of Akan's quest to recreate it in Bukhara unfold. The quest highlights the belief that the heir of Samarkand holds the secret to the unique taste of its bread, reinforcing the idea that some culinary wonders are inseparable from their places of origin. Continuing our exploration of these culinary treasures, let's delve deeper into the craft of making Obinon. Beyond the ingredients and techniques lies a cultural heritage passed down through generations. The unique stamping of images on the dough before baking transforms each loaf into a canvas of tradition and creativity. As home bakers embrace this artistry, they contribute to the living tapestry of Uzbek and Afghan cuisines, bridging the gap between past and present. In the heart of Kabul, the aroma of freshly baked naan intertwines with the city's daily rhythm. A Sadullah's bakery, with its eight-man team working in harmony, embodies the timeless connection between food and community. 
Naan isn't merely sustenance it's a symbol of togetherness. The different varieties crafted for special occasions showcase the versatility of this flatbread, adapting to the nuances of Afghan life. From wedding feasts to moments of reconciliation, Naan carries the weight of tradition and the promise of shared moments. Uzbekistan's reverence for bread takes a poetic turn in Samarkand, where loaves come adorned with sesame seeds and intricate patterns. The family saga of the Karsanifs, spanning generations, paints a picture of dedication and mastery. Beyond being a livelihood, bread making becomes a cultural heirloom, with Aslid in Karsanif's journey echoing the resilience embedded in the art of crafting Samarkand bread. The rituals, legends, and daily rhythms of bread making weave together to form a rich tapestry that binds communities and honors the profound significance of this staple food. As we wrap up our journey through the aromatic realms of Obi Non, Afghan Naan, and Samarkand bread, remember that every slice carries not just flavors but stories. The hands that knead, the ovens that cradle, and the traditions that infuse these breads make them more than mere sustenance here their cultural ambassadors. So, as you savor the warmth of freshly baked bread, you're not just tasting the culmination of ingredients you're experiencing a piece of history, a tale told through every delectable crumb. Here's to breaking bread, forging connections, and celebrating the shared heritage that unites us all. Until next time, happy baking and bon appetit.